All right, guys, before we get into this video, I have some exciting news. At the end of this video, we are announcing the release date of the BHQ exclusive PM2s in both black and satin. So make sure you stick around. It's gonna be some good information and you're gonna to wanna to know what it is. Now let's get talking Spider Co. What's happening, everybody? Welcome to another new product video for 2021. Today we're talking Spider Co. And I have Eric Lesser himself here with me today. Eric, how's it going? I'm doing great. How are you doing? I'm doing fantastic. You know, it's really good to see you again. Uh, we were talking a lot of these knives before we got started and you have some very interesting new stuff that I'm excited to talk about. So let's not beat around the bush a whole lot. Uh, let's get right into it. You got some interesting stuff in the salt line. Tell me what's going on there. Uh, we're pushing the salt line forward. Um, we make a salt two currently in a yellow and H1 version, but we're expanding that into an LC 200 N green that comes in a full flat plain and serrated. Uh, we're also going to be offering that in a Warren cliff. So I wanted to offer it, show it in the black, just so you could see that Warren cliff shape. Uh, if you know the salt series, you know, they're damn near completely rust free or extremely corrosion resistant. Um, they have an enlarged hole so that they're a little bit easier to open than some of our other spider coats. Um, they have uh, inserted threads so that you can still get a four way clip, but they're linerless, which really drops the weight down. Uh, but we're expanding the LC200 series in the salts. That's something that I'm super excited about. I know you guys have been kind of hitting on that LC200N with like the Caribbean and the Spidey Chef. Um, I really like those two models. So I'm really excited to see kind of it making its way into the other salt lines. Yeah, we're going to continue to push it into other models as well. It's it's just a great steel to work with, great steel to use. So LC200N, for those of you that don't know, um, Eric, you can chime in on this too, but um, especially during the, in the plain edge versions tends to have a little bit better edge retention. Am I right? It does. Uh, well, it depends on what you're comparing it to. If you're comparing it to our typical H1, which is our yes. corrosive res resistant steel, yes, it does stay sharper in plain edge longer. Now serrated, it doesn't. Serrated uh, H1 stays a little bit sh uh, sharper, a little bit better wear resistance distance than the uh, plain or serrated LC200N. So um, both steels are very unique. I encourage people to use them. They're, they're really um, an amazing steel, an amazing feat of evolution of steel, both steels, um, unlike pretty much just about any other thing else on the market. Cool. So, and also just one other thing to touch on the salt series knives. Um, those, the, all the hardware and everything is also built to be rust resistant as well, correct? Yeah, we did build the rust, uh, the hardware to be corrosion resistant. You'll notice a lot more coatings on our uh, hardware as well, just to continue to further that that corrosion resistance. But um, out of the chute, the materials themselves, the combinations we build in there are are for pure corrosion resistance and performance. Um, and with the back lock and the self close and the lightweight handle, it, uh, it's a real pleasure to carry and use. It's a uh, a nice performance piece, all the salt series. Really cool to see some some new steel on some classic knives, so. Yeah. All right, so next up, um, not a new knife, but a new variation on a knife that's been pretty popular for you guys. What's going on with the Little Native? Uh, so this is the Little Native. Some of you may know the model. Uh, what's nice about this one is it's a two and a half inch blade. So that can become a, a, a nice size for a lot of places, but this one is a slip joint. Um, and so you can add your forefinger up here. Most all of our knives have a little forefinger or guard. Um, and then it's because it's a non-locker, that'll keep you from slipping. Um, this one has very good action, which we're super proud of. Uh, when it does uh, go into the lock position, it's nice and sturdy. It's not going to fold on you very easily um, with a great self-close. Making a, a non-locker that opens with one hand uh, that's nice and sturdy, uh, that's a good self-close and a clip pocket. I mean, that's where our slippets come from. And so we're continuing to develop the slippet series. Um, this has also nice thicknesses. If you're looking for a slip joint in two and a half inches that you could really use, um, the Little Native is a real user, uh, just legal just about anywhere. Definitely a cool uh, add-on to an already popular model. Uh, I don't have the model in front of me, obviously. You kind of got everything there. But from what it sounds like, the de you got a pretty decent detent on that knife as well. Yeah, very fun and safe to carry. Generous lander, too, you'll notice on there. And then we pushed in the threads into the G10. They're all inserted so that you get that four-way clip but without the liners. So very lightweight, four-way options, big lander, uh, real pleasure to carry. Cool. Exciting stuff to see from the Little Native. Uh, 
Moving on to something that's not Lil. <laughs> uh, I mean, you guys all know about the PM2. It's been around for forever. It's, I mean, I guess probably one of your most popular knives at this point. Uh, new variation, the PM2. Yeah, uh, again, it's it's had a great history, great evolution. We continue to CQI this model. A lot of requests for a crew wear brown canvas micarta version. Um, it wasn't so easy for us to do. We had to add full liners to it. Most people know the nested liners uh, on the paramilitary too. Um, and so we added the full liners because of the canvas. My car is not quite as rigid as your typical G10. Okay. Uh, it's going to be a little bit different uh, weight, but uh, still very light. Um, but the crew wear brown canvas. My car has just been a big request for a long time and we're glad to finally get it done. Yeah, I know me personally, I'm not a huge micarta person, but I'm super excited to see uh, a PM2 in crewer that you can just buy anywhere. So that's that's super cool. Yeah, you know, and, and for the people that know crewwear and canvas micarta, they get a look after use. Uh, it tends to get a patina on the steel. The canvas, you can see this one's got a little bit of carry. You can see the color starting to come in. And so the more you use this knife, it also tends to get um, – a, night, a beautiful, I think it's a beautiful look, but a, yeah. its own unique look of use. Uh, right. So yeah, finally meeting the requests of many people on that uh, canvas micarta crewer. Yeah, so if you're a person that likes uh, that broken in look um, when it comes to a lot of knives, like that would be a perfect option for you. Okay, moving on a little bit. Uh, you guys are doing some, again, not new models, but a lot of different variations in some classic models. So you have kind of the Dragonfly series, but you got a bunch of new stuff in the Dragonfly series. Right, uh, the Dragonfly, for those who know, like you said, very classic. Um, so I'm gonna pull them all out. I'm gonna start with the pink. Um, if you know our Spyderco and our lightweights, we go for bright, vibrant colors. Uh, so we're gonna do it pink. Uh, this is gonna come in also black hardware, black blade with pink, though I currently don't have that one with me. Uh, we did make pink dragonflies in the past, and if you know spider cone, we discontinue something, we don't come back in the same fashion. So in order to CQI this a little bit, this one has CPM S30V blade steel, uh, so we're going to bump up the grade a little bit, um, two and a half inches. Then we're going to also add it in K390, give you a little bit more beef if you're looking for that hard steel. Um, and then we're going to add Warren clips as well in the K390. So. If, you, uh, if you're looking for the Warren Cliff, I, I know I've said this in the past, we're very pleased with our bevel grinds on these. They have nice, sharp, crisp tips, flat edges, proper edge angles. Uh, so the classic Dragonfly series continues to just get better. Love it. So I love me a good Warren Cliff. I think it rips through boxes and stuff that I do on a daily basis uh, very well. I also love to see some new steel options. So base model uh, Dragonfly is usually VG10, correct? Correct. Um, and so, so the K390 and S30V really bump it up. Yeah, so you have some interesting new uh, interesting new steel options there. The K390 is super cool because if you just want something to hold an edge for forever, you have an option now uh, in a smaller Dragonfly. So Yeah, uh, um, tremendous wear resistance, yeah. So speaking of K390. <laughs> so yeah, there's more in here you're going to see of K390. But the big push, and I'm just going to show this in VG10 because I don't have the current K390 model. We're just going to add teeth. Um, and so you're looking at a non-stainless, super hard steel, incredible wear resistant, but with Spyderco's classic serrations, which I believe we make some of the best teeth around. Why this is important uh, is you typically don't get steels that are this hard with teeth. Once you start getting into the 60s for Rockwells, those teeth tend to get brittle. And so we're able to bring a, a really nice, aggressive cutting power um, to, to uh, K390 and, and the rest of the series in that classic blue. And so it's a bit of a chainsaw in the pocket, if you will, as far as edge retention. Yeah, that's super cool. You don't see, I mean, I think generally, I, I don't see very many uh, large production companies coming out with K390 knives just in general, but then to throw serrations on top of that, I think is something that's definitely gonna be special for you guys. And again, what Eric is showing here, um, he's showing the serrated version of the non K390 knife, but it's going to be 
K390. We got a lot of pre-production models. We got a lot of models that aren't quite finalized yet. So keep that in mind. You're going to get a K390 serrated yeah. knife. Yeah, they're going to look like that there's in serrations. There's the color. <laughs> yeah, there's that color. Beautiful uh, color too. I, I love the color. It's an awesome color. Yeah. And that color is kind of whenever you do a K390 knife uh, in a lightweight version, that's the color you're going to get, correct? Yeah, it signifies it. We've done that with some of the other models. Heck, we're doing it with LC200N in the green. Um, we've done it with 110B in the plaque. Uh, and so, yeah, you see that color, it's going to signify K390. As another note, too, again, because we don't have everything and it's a little bit of pre-production stuff, we did a straight spine stretch in the past in ivory. Um, I only have the sprint here, but we're also going to offer that in K390 as well. So, cool. again, just continuing to push that K390 series. Yeah, that's, that's super exciting to see some super high-end uh, steel uh, in a lot of different models this year. Continuing down the road, uh, you have some new stuff in the UK. Yeah. Um, Model UK. The only really <laughs> new thing is about the UK is that it's assault. I, I don't have, and again, we have to use our imagination a little bit, but that's the yellow that it's going to come in. Mm -hmm. um, and then it's going to be, and this is LC200N, so there will be some yellow in the LC200N. Um, but again, we were able to make this slip joint where you have that nice solid lockup, that four finger choil for safety, little mid stop. Nice self-close, um, but all in a non-locker um, and, and rust resistant. Uh, this also comes with a deep pocket wire clip. Um, and so because of the laws and things that are going on, on in the world, the UK continues to be a growing model. Uh, and making it an assault series with a little bit of a vibrant color is just a nice add to the, to the line. Right. So you want something maybe a little bit slimmer, a little bit longer blade length than like the little native slip joint might be a good option for you. Yeah. Yeah. Nice, thin and lightweight, um, fairly open construction. It's a fun carry. Awesome. It is. Um, and then kind of before we get to kind of the exciting stuff at the end here, you got the Phoenix. Yeah. I love this knife. Uh, I, uh, I have a, a history with Howard Bealey. I'm a big fan. He's the designer. Uh, he passed away recently. Uh, a brilliant designer in the custom knife world did it for, for a very long time. We made the Phoenix in the past in a white G10. Uh, so this comes with a red G10. It still comes with the titanium uh, scales that we had before, the custom clip, the ball bearing lock. Um, but really to commemorate and remember Howard Bealey, he was uh, a great artist in our industry and it was a real pleasure to get to work with him. So this will be a, a real quick sprint run of the classic Phoenix. Yeah, so another interesting model from you guys uh, that's kind of got some, like you got the ball bearing lock and you got to cut some interesting blade design there. So uh, love to see everything that you guys are putting out. So we have one left here on the table and I saved this one for last because I think it's pretty special. Um, so as you guys have known on Instagram, we may have teased a, uh, an exclusive PM2 Tanto in M4 and JG10. So you guys have seen it. So I have them both here. So we have the black one and then we have the satin bladed one. So these have been super popular in the black versions, but now we have the Blade HQ exclusive uh, Natural G10 M4 version. Yeah, you got them there too. These are the only models that I have in house right now. So that's pretty, this is fun. So what we're doing today is we're announcing when they're gonna be live. So take note, everybody got your notebooks ready. This is what's gonna happen. So I got it written down here so I don't forget. These BHQ exclusive PM2 Tantos are going live Friday, January 29th at 10 a.m. Mountain Time. So put a reminder in your phone, write it down, do whatever you need to do to be on the site at 10 a.m. Mountain Time on Friday, January 29th. That's when these things are gonna go live. We have a hunch that they'll be going fast. <laughs> so make sure you're on the site uh, if you want one right away uh, to snag one. We're pretty excited about these. I don't know, like, People have been super excited about the PM2 Tandles in general, Eric. So um, I know that just the BHQ exclusive portion is also going to be pretty exciting. I'm not sure how you feel about them, but we really like them here. I love them. I have to give you guys credit, though. That was one of your big pushes to try to get the Tonto done in a paramilitary, too. Um, it's been a great execution, a pleasure to work with you guys on it. And, and they perform well. The market loves it. Uh, and uh, we're proud to make them. So yeah, I'm, I'm certainly yeah. excited about it. I love just sitting here staring at all the grind lines going on here. You guys did just a fantastic job of getting all of these grinds just perfect. So 
that's something that I really like to see about these. Yeah, there's a lot of ways to make Tontos, and uh, we certainly um, went all the way with this one. We did it the best we could. Awesome. Hollow grinds, flat grinds, swedges, all the good stuff. It's beautiful. Oh, I will say it's beautiful. I think that's all we got, man. Uh, Eric. Thank you so much for joining us via Skype here and uh, running us through what you guys got for 2021. Uh, there's a lot of cool stuff that I'm excited about. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm excited to see when these are gonna start trickling in. Yeah, I would expect most of these to start trickling in pretty soon. This is, uh, this is for our next reveal and there'll be more later on in 2021. Um, but uh, we're excited for some of this uh, new stuff that we're going to be offering. So I hope some of you guys are too. All right. Well, again, thank you so much for being here. Thanks everybody for joining me on this, uh, just another 2021 product preview video. Make sure you check out our playlist with all of our other brands in it. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Hey, you made it to the end screen. If you're not already subscribed to Blade HQ's YouTube channel, hit that button right over there. If you wanna check out some of the knives that were featured in this video, head on over to bladehq.com. And down below, there's our new 2021 product playlist. We'll see you in the next one.